The F-22 Raptor outclasses almost every jet in the sky, so why is it illegal for US allies to buy one? I'm an aerospace engineer, and in 1998, Congress passed a defense bill with the Obey Amendment, a provision that prohibited the sale of the F-22 to any foreign nation. At the time, the Raptor wasn't just impressively agile, it had stealth, supercruise capability, and sensor fusion technologies that no other aircraft could match. The fear was that even close allies couldn't fully guarantee its secrets wouldn't leak, or that captured aircraft could fall into enemy hands through espionage, crashes, or political instability. Lockheed Martin even warned that sharing the jet would threaten the US's long-term air dominance. Australia, Japan, and Israel all tried to buy it, offering billions, but the US government said no every time. And there was another factor, cost. Building the F-22 was extremely expensive, and restarting the production line for exports or supplying parts would have been resource heavy. In 2011, the last F-22 rolled off the line, with just 187 combat-ready Raptors ever built, far fewer than originally planned. And today, even though newer jets like the F-35 are exported globally, the F-22's unmatched air superiority role remains exclusive to the US, preserving a critical edge even as threats continue to close the gap.